healthy. That's too much. I really do like the glowy. I get asked like, do you have uh, laminated brows? Nope. <gasps> Were y'all not gonna tell me? Hi. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Celeste and welcome back to another video. Today, um, we're going to be doing makeup. This is my beautiful, awesome <laughs> makeup bag that needs to be cleaned. Um, I got it from Target. I will link it on my like to know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do makeup. I really just, okay, so I just got my nails done and I need to charge my headphones before I go to the gym. So I thought, let's just do a little bit of makeup. I'm just gonna show you what I do, my hands, I just washed them, they're clean. Um, I already skin prepped. I did not put on SPF, which I'm just now remembering, but usually I do that with my moisturizer and everything. So we're just gonna jump in. I'll just show you the product, kind of talk about it, and yeah, let's just get on with the video. Um, actually, let me turn you the other way. Okay. I got my hair already pinned back with this headband. I get a lot of these like headbands like from Target, but we're just gonna do um, makeup really quick. Oh, I think I put too much. Yep, I think I did on the forehead, but we'll, we'll mix it around. Oh my goodness. I am breaking out pretty bad. Um, I'm like pretty sure I'm gonna be start. I'm supposed to start my period in like a week. But I'm already getting the symptoms, you know? Does that happen to y'all? I get them so early. And my hormones, I just know they're all messed up. I've been taking birth control ever since I was very, very young because I'm just so irregular. And I still am so messed up. My cycle, I just, I don't even know. So I'm already getting the symptoms. I'm already breaking out really badly, which it is what it is. I don't even care. Okay, you see that glow? I just love that glow shin. Um, I have this other glow stuff, which I'll just put it on so you can see it. It's from Ari. Okay, calm down, girl. Auric, it's a glow lust radiant moisturizer. And honestly, it's I don't think this is like a huge, huge brand. I don't really see it at all. I'm just gonna do one dot and you'll see that's too much. And I just did one, okay? It's just like a highlighter. And I like to just put it right there. Um, let's just kind of mix it in. And you see, it's kind of more pigmented than the um, Glotion. Like it has more coverage, I believe. It's too much. I'm gonna just have to wipe it. I'm gonna wash my... <gasps> I think I have um, napkins in here somewhere, but we're just gonna kind of tap her in. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> I like don't wanna touch anything and get makeup all over. I usually have like um, a little towel by me when I do my makeup. Oh look, mm, I got something. I got something. Because um, I, yeah, it's just, you get it everywhere. It just, like, sucks, but I have these little wet ones. Um, they're, like, anti-bacterial uh, wipes for your hands, so we're gonna just... <laughs> Look at all that. Let's turn the air condition down. You probably could hear it. It's just so hot outside. It's not 100 degrees. The other day, it was, like, 98 or something. I was like, uh, Houston's coming. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna dry my hands a little bit. Let me like wipe this. I just wiped it all in my bag. That was not very smart, but I thought that's what my only option was at the moment. Okay, so let's let's get organized. Okay, so I did that. Next, I'm gonna do another primer. I would say I don't know if those are considered primers or what, but this primer had it forever it's a tart timeless primer is what it's called it's like smoothing primer and for some reason when i bought it long ago all of it's on the top like the lid so i just literally take a piece and then i just so this is like a mattifying smoothing primer so i usually just do it in my t-zone right here 
and you really just want to push it in we're gonna kind of okay got that piece now i used to be like super matte like girl now i i really do like the glowy but i have to have some matte right here because of my pores and i just feel like it just looks smooth right here i like for it to look smoother here so that's why i put that and you can just see it just like kind of um smooths mattifies it's just really nice and it lasts forever you just saw i just got like a little piece and just boop, boop, boop. sorry i didn't mean to flick you off i don't know why i always use my middle finger okay well i like to do my eyebrows first too so we're gonna get you just need like a little spoolie literally can get them like on amazon anywhere really i just use this little brush it's a dual brush um because i like using this side for like eyeshadow or whatever i hate when my foundation gets on my lips um but i always take off the the old dry glue usually when i do it but i don't know what happened last time i think I, oh when i was trying to record it and then that didn't go very well in my car so mm -hmm. i use the elf um, brow lift i used to use the anastasia one and why it was so much money and literally this is way better if i'm being completely honest so did you notice how i went opposite and then i go the way i want and just add a little bit more product to really get her stuck and put where she needs to be. I think I need to cut my eyebrows so like kind of clean off a little bit, but I don't know. Okay, we're gonna saturate, go this way. I have to do it this way because if I just go in and start brushing them the way I want them, it doesn't last. Whether I'm like sweating, like it just doesn't last all day. But this method makes them last, girl. And I never saw anybody do that. So maybe it's a me thing, but I have to. I kind of just want them all to look in. The other day, I kind of, I used to have like a longer tail go down more. And I kind of just, hopefully that like lifts my face a little bit. I think I need to kind of clip those a little bit better. Okay. And once you do that, throw it in there. We're going to clean, take off the excess on the brush. Throw that in there. And while they're still kind of wet, I like to just go with my fingers and kind of like get all the excess and really like push them in. And they ain't moving. I get asked like, do you have uh, laminated brows? Nope. You pay like 100, 120, 50, I don't know, dollars for them and they only last for a few weeks. Like, what? Just get elf brow lift. Not sponsored. Wish I was. Okay. Now we're going to go to the fun part. I found this Lancome concealer. I got it at Ulta. You can get it at Sephora too. And grr, it, it smells disgusting. I just got a whiff of it because of the air conditioning. But she does what she needs to do. So we're just going to go under the eye. Boop, boop. A little bit right here i do hate the applicator because i feel like it doesn't really which is good i guess it has like where it takes off all the product but i'm like girl you're making me <gasps> were y'all not gonna tell me <laughs> you're gonna blend it <gasps> and it's dry no it's not i can mix it gosh so why we let that set for a bit we're gonna go to Bronza. Let me find Miss Rare Beauty because she's that girl. I used to use the Fenty one and I like it uh, a lot, but I wanted to try Miss Rare Beauty and I like her too. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do the nose because my nose girl needs it. And we're gonna do eyebrows. I mean, <laughs> eyebrows. Eyelids. Wow, I look crazy. So we're just gonna get, I'm using Laura Lee Los, An or Laura Lee Los Angeles, I think, um, products. 
I mean, not products. Brushes. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I'm just off. It's like 140 and I'm like barely getting my day going. It's because I stayed up with my fiance last night and then this morning he woke up and he was not really feeling the best. He had like a really sinus, really bad sinus pressure, like headache. Um, and so I stayed with him and kind of slept in. Got, got him medicine, woke up, went and got him breakfast, took it. He went to work, took it to him to work, then went home and I was like talking and hanging out with my brother for a little bit. Then I got ready for the gym. So like, but I just, I'm just kind of moving slow today. It's okay. I have today off. I have tomorrow off, but I think I might pick up. I don't know. We're going to, um, I know I didn't put any here, but I'm just going to show you put the excess right here. Um, we're supposed to get our appliances delivered to our house tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. And if you want more, just kind of put that there push through here I just made an appointment to get masseter Botox because I be grinding and clenching my jaw so much I just need to, to chill out you need to chill out okay next step uh, I don't always do this but why not we'll just put on a little bit of white eyeliner before cute and it's the NYX jumbo one people use that for a highlighter too I have this golden one but the white obviously shows up better okay now we're gonna blend this concealer and I like using this elf sponge let me let me show you well if I can find her oh look how cute she is she's just cute and perfect um we're gonna use this max mac, mac Oh, it has a little bit left. Fix setting spray. I just hate how it, the spritzer on that, just not good. Kind of like, get it? Okay, and we're just gonna blend in this concealer, clean up, and I'm not really, I don't really wear foundation anymore if I'm being completely honest. I have a few different ones that I like, but I might try this Lancome. Since I like the concealer, maybe I'll like their foundation. I know one um, influencer that I watch is Holly Gabriel. I feel like I've talked to her about her before. And she um, just bought and used this uh, foundation. So I'm like, oh, and she really liked it. And I was like, maybe I should try it. So I still might, but I've been using the concealer as foundation because I don't really like to look cakey. Although I have looked cakey in my past, I'm getting better. I'm learning. I feel like I need more on my forehead to kind of cover up all this. All this. <laughs> I just put a little bit right there. A little bit. And we're just really going to get in there. I don't really like putting anything on my nose other than the... Um, bronzer because I have a lot of freckles if you can't if you can tell <laughs> and I try not to cover them up too much because they're pretty I like them but we're just going to slightly we're just blending everything in seamlessly and kind of put the excess and now we go to blush. Now, I use this huge big palette. It's Patrick Ta. It's like an old, or it was like a limited edition palette. I want to buy like his singles, but I usually just use the cream. And it has a huge mirror in it too. So actually, uh, I really like it. We're just going to go through all, you can tell I like that brown shade, but look how pigmented so you gotta really blend her in I like to kind of go under my eye and like and then definitely on the nose you gotta do it on the nose a little on the forehead and don't worry we'll kind of go over it again 
I'm breaking out so bad on my chin. It's kind of actually making not, me not feel too good. Just look still how glowy we are. Still glowy. Everything's blending in good. Okay? Doesn't look bad, right? So before I go in with setting powder, I just want to make sure everything is blended in. We have, I think I have like some eyebrow gel right there. Nope, I'm peeling. Ugh. It's because it was an old, um, an old pimple right there. So it's like peeling off. I think I'm peeling right there too. I think I might just take a break from my <laughs> retinol. I usually use like a lot of like hydrating products, but I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna blame the hormones. I'm gonna do that. Okay, we're just blending everything in, making sure it looks good. Put this away and we're gonna set. Mm -hmm. Now, you're gonna hate me for this one. Because I really, really love this Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. You know, like, I think on TikTok, they're, like, it's trending. The pink setting powder is trending. And rightfully so. It's not too pink. It's just, like, peachy. Um, but, you know what? I was using this before that trend, so. And I didn't even think about it. I was just like, oh, it's cute. So, I just get a little brush like that. And kind of tip tap. And we're just gonna tap her in and set lightly. Because if you put too much, you just get too dry. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Tilbury, um, like setting powder. It's not a loose, it's a pressed setting powder. And I do like it. I, I like how I just got like a small like mini size. So I put that in my purse and like touch up if I, if we like go out, you know. See, I'm just kind of like. That's it really where I need it is just like the T-zone. Everywhere else we'll put some. Um, and then just kind of pour that. Oh, not the, not the air conditioned. And this thing, it's so sad that this is, it smells good too. Um, it's so sad that this is like discontinued because I have so much. I mean, I'm going to use it for a long time. But if you want another like really good um, setting powder, um, I have the mini hourglass and this is like my second option. Okay. So, go to the bronzer. I use Hula Benefit. This one's lasting me forever too. Now we're just gonna kinda dip dip. We're gonna kinda go over the nose that we were doing earlier. <laughs> and we're gonna go over the, that cream blush up here. I mean, bronzer. Jeez, I cannot talk today. See, this is why I don't um, do makeup in front of everybody because do I really know what I'm talking about? Nope. And we're just gonna go underneath to kinda blend everything together good enough for me sometimes I get this big old poofy brush because I don't really do like powder all over my face but I was like it's a lot so you just kind of dust her off and then just kind of boop, boop. and you get just really a lot a lot of area surface that it's covering so there you is okay now let's go to mascara Sky High, my bling. She's she's a good one. I do like her a lot. I've been using this eyelash serum and I think it's been doing doing its job. I got it from Amazon. It's not Grande Lash. I don't know which one it is actually. Okay. So you don't want to get too. I'm gonna go at the base and then work your way up. Ooh, see what I'm talking about, girlfriend? Ugh. Like, she's alive. She is awake. She's doing her thing. Okay. 
See, like, I, that was one coat. Girl. I The other one uh, that I really like is, um, Telescopic. I think that's L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal Telescopic. It's pretty good. It was my go-to before this one. Actually, I went to Target the other day to um, get, like, telescopic. I was like, ooh, maybe I should get a waterproof. And then when we were going to Miami, I was like, I can kind of put the waterproof over, like, a little bit. So I sold out. So I was like, hmm, the girlies know about telescopic. Okay. And sometimes I do bottom lash. Sometimes I don't. If I do white at the bottom, then yes. If I don't do anything, sometimes I just leave her be. But the telescopic is actually really good for the bottom lashes because it's like so small and it like really just saturates. Okay, are we done? I don't know. See, I feel like my eyelash is getting longer, girl. Blushing them away. I have a hair appointment next month. What do I do with this? What do I do? Like, I love my long hair, but then I'm like also over it. And I'm like, cut it. I don't know if that's intrusive thoughts or if I really just want to cut it. I kind of want to go short. I haven't really been like super short in a very long time. Actually, no, I haven't really ever been short, short. I'll show you a picture of like when it was somewhat short but it's brown and I want to go back blonde so you're like are you done nope <laughs> okay so that's that then for lips girl you cannot forget the juicy lips where's my bag oh everything's black literally I have like black everything and I'm like, it's all blending together, and I'm like, what's... Girl, I don't, I lost my little... So we're just gonna slip her on there. These are gonna be juicy. Lip filler who? I'm just kidding, I have lip filler. Okay. Just touch right there. Now, I do have another blush option for you. That's powder. This, I like to say, it's like my blush topper. Because it's a baked blush, and I feel like it has a little, like, give me like a little bit of a highlighter. Milani, she does not disappoint. It's number 14, the Petal Primavera. What is it? Look, isn't it just like a pretty pink? I think she's cute. Now, what I'm gonna do is grab the big one that, like, you know, we set with that small one. This is the Big Daddy. We're just gonna press this. You see? And we're just gonna kind of go over it and kind of really go under the eye and really blend everything together. So, like, look how beautiful that is. Um, and look, I'm like barely even using any products. These products have been lasting forever. Okay, um, setting powder. I mean, setting spray. I usually do Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I have the big one. I've had a mini one. I've had a big and a mini one. I've had a few. Um, because I really do like the setting spray. Um, but since I went to Miami. I've been taking all the small stuff and this little NYX. Oh, I'm running out. She's cute. It's like a dewy finish. And it's a nice spritz. Ooh, hydrating. Okay. <gasps> Y'all, I did have a telescopic. I think this is an old one, actually. I don't think I have. Yeah, she's kind of. She doesn't really have much on her, but yeah, no, she's dry. Yeah, she's dry. I need to throw it away, actually. Well, I tried. I think it's like good because it's like a small. You see what I mean? 
sometimes it really gets in there okay and then if you want to if you want to if you want more shimmer and more glowiness this rare beauty um she's cute but i i'm not feeling too much of a like i feel like i'm already glowy like i don't if i was going out i'd put it like on my lip put a little bit on my nose put it on the side but like look how glowy i already am so i don't think i need it right now i'm going to the gym i just wanted to show y'all because I, they were like oh my god you're big at like i'm like i don't know girl okay that is all let me put my hair up for the gym and yeah that's kind of how i've been doing my makeup lately that's kind of like my go-to routine um as far as skincare goes i use like glow recipe um the nice out of my dew drops those are really nice and then i use like the kodali it's like a white serum i forgot what it's called but I kind of like just do like one drop and like put that in with after the dewy drops. And then I just do the plum plum pump hy hyaluronic acid um, glow recipe moisturizer. Or sometimes I'll just do my SPF moisturizer from Dermatology. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's all. I'm ready to go to the gym since I didn't go the last two days. So, it's time. But I hope y'all enjoyed this little tutorial. Look at these cute nails. I'm in my French girl era now. Like, I'm like, let's do French. Dip. I feel like it's just so cute. And then when they grow out, it just doesn't look so bad, you know? So. Anyways, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!